In this short presentation, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to make a frequency distribution table in Excel 2004 for the Mac. These steps will also work for later versions of Excel on the Macintosh computer. This is Dr. Myers, and I'm course lead faculty for NSG 322 Biostatistics at National University in San Diego. So just like we did in the Excel version, we want to work with our data set, and here we're going to work with our data from one of my discussion boards where we're looking at 25 students made to exercise for a minute. We're looking at their pulse rates, and the question is, how do we make a histogram for this data and a frequency distribution table? Today we're going to start with the distribution table, and if we go to our data set, this is the one we did for the PC version, we see that we get our frequency data. So we want frequency, frequency percent, our cumulative frequency, and our cumulative frequency percent. So to calculate these on the Mac version, we have to write formulas. So if we look at our data sheet here, and you can pause this recording and type these values in if you want to keep up with us, here we have our data in the first, the A column. So these are our 25 students that we recorded their pulse rates from. And then what we've done is we've already made bins for the data. So we label another column, we call it bins. And in Excel, these are treated as upper limits. So you can see our, our data varies from the 90s to the 150s. So these are the how we're going to bin the data. Now, we wouldn't do these if we had data that didn't vary much uh, from one value to another. But here, since we have quite a variation, we're going to bin the data. So to do that, we create these, we just type these values in, and I've done those for you, but you can type them in as well. And then we have to start with writing a formula for cumulative frequency. That's going to give us the formulas to do all the other ones. Again, the PC version does this for us automatically. Other software programs in statistics do this automatically. But in Excel, we can calculate them easily from formulas. So to start with the first one, we're going to do cumulative frequency. And we're going to just type in and use the frequency function. So again, we type equals, and then we type frequency. With the parentheses. And as soon as I do that, you can see Excel starting to prompt us because it knows what we're going to do. So to put in the first array, an easy way to do it is to type in A semicolon A. As I do that, you can see it's highlighted that A column. It's going to look at all that data in column A. Type in a comma. And then our first bin is going to be C2. So we type in C2. Close the parentheses. And then we type Enter. And it's 0 because it's going to count all the way up to 90. Then we can quickly copy this down. So we don't have to retype the formula in each one. So we highlight from the, our start to the bottom at, at 9 there. Go up and we go to Edit, Fill, and Down. And now it's done all the calculations for us. And we can go ahead and get rid of that, ignore that error. If we go back here, we can check our PC version. We've done the same thing. So here's our cumulative frequency from 0 all the way to 25, our 25 values. So then to get the rest, we just write formulas for the um, subtract them from one, from one another. And then the percentages we're going to do, as we did before, part out of the whole. So going then to frequency, the formula here is we're just going to subtract them from each one. So we're going to use the uh, numbers that we see. So of course the frequency of the first bin is 0 because there's nothing there. Then we have 2, so we just follow along with our cumulative frequency. Now the next one, so, that, so in the 100 bin there's two counts there because we got a cumulative frequency of 2. So next we have picked up another one, so it's 3. So for the rest, we just subtract them. So the formula we type in here is going to be equal to our uh, G4. So we can just type on it. G4 minus the one before it, G3. And we type Enter. And then we can copy that formula down as well to finish the rest. Go up to Edit, Fill, Down. So now we have our frequencies. We can even sum them up here. So we type in equals to sum, drag over the whole column, close the parentheses, equal, and we have our frequencies and our cumulative frequencies. Now for the rest, as I showed you in the other videos, you just type in the percentages over the whole. So you're just going to type in equal to the first one divided by our last column, our sum column, and then you copy that down. 
In this short presentation, I'm going to finish up our discussion about making a frequency table in the Mac version of Excel 2004. Again, this is Dr. Myers, and I'm course lead faculty for NSG 322 Biostatistics at National University. So last time we left off with, we did all of our formulas for creating the cumulative frequency, that's what we started. We wrote a subtraction formula just to give us the, the frequencies, the absolute frequencies in column E here. Then we did the sum function to get our sum total, which of course is 25, which is the number of patients we have in our data set or subjects. And then we're going to do the percentages simply by taking part over the whole. So again, we take the formula bar up here. So we've got our E2, our frequency in that bin, and we simply divide it by the sum, which is our E10. But of course, we want to sum this down. So to do that, we want to do the dollar sign in front of our E and dollar sign in front of our 10 click enter, that's going to give us our value. So of course the percentage for the first one is zero. And then we can take that, since we put in our dollar sign, we can just we can just copy that down. Again we go to edit, fill, down. And now we have our percentages for each one. Then to get these to be formatted correctly, again in Excel we just select that whole column, we right click, go to format cells, we made a percentage, so we want to click on percentage. One decimal place is fine. Click OK. And now we have our percentages listed for us. We do the cumulative percent the same way, right? We're going to take part of the whole. So we're going to make a, a formula. So we're going to say this is going to be equal to our first bin. So that's going to be G2 divided by our uh, total. And here it's going to be the same one, so we use our 25. And again, we'll use the dollar sign function so we can copy that down. So it's dollar sign E, dollar sign 10. Again, we click Enter. And so here we're, we're doing the cumulative frequency. And we're using the G2, so we're going to copy that down for our cumulative percent frequency. So again, we go up to Edit, Fill, down. And we end up with 100%, which of course is what we want at the end. So now we have created all of our tables. We've gone ahead and done our percentages. These are formatted correctly. You can go back and tally them up if you want to make them a little nicer by changing any of the formatting that you like. And then of course you can cut and paste this into any document, into your Word document, and submit them. Or put them in any report that you might be doing. Again, if we go back and we look at the numbers from our PC version, we can see that they're the same. 96, 88, 72, we have the same values. So we've done basically now all the stuff that we were able to do in the uh, PC version, we, simp we can do the same thing in the Mac just by writing the correct formulas for each one to get our frequency distribution table in the Mac. So next we'll do, the next piece is of course to make this into a histogram.